Well, this is the follow-on from the first part of chapter four. So this is chapter four continued, still working on vectors. To review from last time, there are four ways to create a vector. And those four ways are, first of all, using the colon operator. And that is useful when you have a vector whose elements differ by one. The second way to create a vector is with the C function. And C can be thought of as collect or concatenate or combine. Any of those words would be appropriate for C. And what it does is it allows you to put arbitrary elements into a vector. The next one is the sequence operator, which is abbreviated SEQ. And finally, the last of one, the last of them is the repeat operator, REP. Well, what's going to happen in this next piece here is we're going to have a vector that we have created, and we want to find a way of getting to the elements of that vector. So what's going on here is what I'll refer to as indexing. And in indexing, what happens is when you use positive subscripts, they include the elements that you'd like to get a hold of. And when you use negative subscripts, those exclude the elements. Subscripts in R are contained in square brackets. So you'll see how that works in a minute. Let's begin just by setting up an arbitrary uh, vector x. Let's go with 6 followed by 0, negative 3, 4, and 8. You'll notice that in the upper right, here is the vector x, and here are its elements. Again, as before, if I type x at this point, I will get the elements of x displayed on the screen. Now, if I would like to take a look at, for example, the second element of x, you put the 2 in square brackets, and this will return a 0 because the 0 right here is the second element in x. If instead I wanted the third element of x, what I would do is I would say x sub 3, and it will give me that third element, which is a negative 3. If I want the first through the third elements of x, I would put in 1 colon 3, and that colon, by, by the way, is the colon operator for creating a vector. And in this case, you will get 6, 0, negative 3. What if I want just the first and the third elements? If that were the case, then I would use the C function and say I just want the first and third element, and there they are. Now you can put in any number of elements here in that C function. For example, I could say I want the first element, the third element, the fifth element, and then I want the third element again. And if you did that, you would get the first element, which is 6, followed by the third element, which is negative 3, followed by the fifth element, which is 8, and then a negative 3 placed at the end there. Now, as always, you can take these. I'm going to do an up arrow here and get that last command. You can always take these and set them to a vector y. And notice now the vector y has been created, and it has the element 6, negative 3, 8 negative 3. Up here, you've already seen positive subscripts are used to include elements. If you ever want to exclude elements, you put in a negative subscript. So for example, if I want the vector x, but I want to eliminate, for example, the third element, that negative element, I would say x of negative 3, and I would get 6 0, 4, 8. If I wanted to exclude all of the elements 
from negative 2 to negative 4. That would only give you the first and the fifth elements, which are 6 and 8. So what it did in that case is it got rid of elements 2, 3, and 4, because those have negative subscripts, and just left 6 and 8. So again, you can use these subscripts to either include or exclude. Now the last topic that is going to appear here in vectors is vector arithmetic. Now at this point, the precedence is going to be a little more complicated because you remember from last time when we were doing R as a calculator, there was just PEMDAS, but we now have more operators. So parentheses always come first in terms of priority. Then you have exponentiation second, and then you have the colon operator third, and then after that it's what you're used to. Multiply, divide, add, and subtract are what remains. So we now have more things we have to keep track of in terms of precedence. Let's start with an easy example here. Let's say we take the vector 1 to 10 and we add 3. Well the first thing we're going to ask, does the colon operator get done first or does the plus operator get done first? And if you look at our hierarchy over here, you can see that the colon occurs before the plus, so it will get done before. And in this case, you'll get the vector 1 to 10, and each element will get have a 3 added to it. You have to scroll a little bit here. Well, i got to put my plus in there. I'm not sure what happened, but when I hit return, there it is. So every element of 1 through 10 gets a 3 added to it. And this brings up a topic called recycling because what we're doing is a little bit unusual here. We're taking a vector of length 10, and here we have a vector of length 1. So what R will do is it will recycle the 3 10 times, and now what we're doing is we're adding a vector of length 10 to a vector of length 10, which consists of all 3's, and that's where you get the vector 4 through 13. Let's try another example. Let's do 1 colon 10 times 4. Now this time, you'll notice that the colon appears first, and so that'll occur initially, and then the multiply gets second priority. So here we're going to get a vector 1 through 10, and what's going to happen is the same thing will happen here as in the previous case. The 4 will get recycled 10 times, which means you'll have the elements of this vector, 1 through 10, each of them multiplied by 4, and there's what you get, 4, 8, 12, all the way up to 40. Now this one will be a little bit trickier here. We're going to do 1 colon 10 and then raise that to the second power. Now if you look at your, your order of precedence, you've got the colon, or I'm sorry, the uh, caret um, occurring first before the colon. So what's going to happen is this 10 is going to get squared and we're going to get 1 colon 10 to the second power, and 10 to the second power gets done first, so this will be 1 colon 100, and so you get a vector of the first 100 values, the first 100 integers. Now if that's not what you want, and you want the squares of the first 10 positive integers, you have to put in parentheses to override it. So there's the parentheses around 1 through 10. I then hit the right arrow to get out of the parentheses, and I raise that to the second power, and I get the first 10 perfect squares. Now this can also work in the other direction, 
So you could say two raised to the, and the vector here would be one colon 10. And in this particular case, the vector will get created first, one to 10. And now we have a vector of length one, namely the two, raised to a vector of length 10. So recycling will occur again. And what will happen is the two will get repeated 10 times. So this will be two to the first, two to the second, two to the third, etc. And there's what you get, the first 10 powers of two. Once again, there's more than this in the book. So this is a good time to start experimenting in R or R Studio, but also read the examples in the book because there are certainly more there.